Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're making a delicious three ingredient ice cream. No ice cream machine needed. This is a really simple, really easy recipe, and you can alter it, add all kinds of flavors to it. Strawberry, peach, chocolate. You can add any kind of topping to it. I even thought maybe a lemon or something like that would be good in it. You could do pineapple. Just the sky is the limit with this. But what you need for the basic ice cream is you need some whipping cream. Heavy cream, whipping cream, it's all the same thing. You have to have the stuff with um, the higher fat concentrate in it though to do this. It has to be something you can whip. And in a pinch, you could use a tub of the um, frozen cool whip stuff. But that is non-dairy. This recipe is going to give you real dairy ice cream. And what I have here is one cup of heavy whipping cream or heavy cream, whatever goes by in your store. And I have seven ounces of sweetened condensed milk. Now that's half of a normal sized can. It normally comes in a 14 ounce can. Um, you can get the small cans though at the Dollar Tree, I believe, and in some grocery stores. If you want to use a whole 14 ounce can, you will need two cups of whipping cream. This will give you about two cups of ice cream though. And since it's just me, I'm kind of making a small batch, but it's really easy to double it or even go on and use two cans of sweetened condensed milk and four cups of heavy cream. So just however much you need, but this much is going to, like I said, give you about two cups of ice cream. And you need vanilla, real vanilla. And I have my vanilla feeds tomorrow here. I'm gonna put a link in that again for you. All the proceeds from this go to Second Harvest Food Bank, which is a charity. All the proceeds, not part of them, which is really cool. But anyway, I'll link that again. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna add our vanilla into our sweetened condensed milk. And like I said, flavors with this are just endless. And I'm adding a teaspoon and a half into this much. If I was going to use the whole can and two cups of whipping cream, I would do at least a tablespoon of vanilla. Um, if you wanted to add some other kind of flavor or some fruit like strawberries or peaches or something, you would want to add that in to your condensed milk. And you want to kind of mix that up because what we're going to do is we're going to whip our cream. And then we're going to add this to the whipped cream. And when you add this to the whipped cream, you don't want to stir it a whole bunch or all of the air where you've whipped your cream, you'll lose it. And whipping the cream is why you don't need an ice cream maker. You whip it and it holds the air in there so you don't have to stir it constantly while it's freezing. You can just put it in the freezer. All right, that's mixed in there pretty good. Um, I've done whipped cream in several videos and I like this little whisk attachment here. You can use any kind of electric mixer though to whip cream. You can do it by hand with a whisk. It takes a while. You can also put it in a mason jar with a lid or any kind of glass jar with a lid and shake it until you get it whipped. Uh, you want to make sure your jar or your cup or whatever you're using and your cream are really cold. Don't freeze them, but you want them really cold. If they get warm, it'll be very hard to whip it. But this little gadget here works great, and you can get these for, well, I don't know what you can get them for now. They used to be about $20. But anyway, just whip it until it gets stiff and peaks form. Okay, now that just takes a minute. Um, and when your whipped cream is whipped and you fling it all over the kitchen, you should be able to turn it upside down. Oops, and it shouldn't pour out, but it, the, what you knocked off of your whisk there will fall out. But anyway, make sure it's stiff. 
and that means it's ready and you can see my one cup of whipping cream i had one cup in here it made two cups and this is going to like i said give you about two cups of ice cream and now all you're going to do is you're going to put the your sweetened condensed milk and your vanilla in your cream and you're going to fold that in real careful like and then, once you get that done, you just want to transfer it to a container, something plastic like this, or even something metal and cover it. But I like the plastic bowls that you can put a lid on, and you put it in the freezer. It will freeze, well, it depends on your freezer, four or five hours. I usually do it at least overnight, so it's good and stiff. This is a good recipe if you need ice cream, you know, to go on your cobbler or something, and you don't feel like running out to the store to get ice cream. Um, it would be a good recipe at Christmas time because we don't always have ice cream in our freezer, but sometimes we make a dessert that we want a little scoop of ice cream with it. So this is something that you can mix up so you don't have to run out and buy ice cream if you don't have any and like I said you can top it with any flavor um, if you live alone and you decide you want a big banana split you could mix this up and add the strawberry and chocolate pineapple syrup to it and make a banana split or make sundaes out of it this is a fun one for the kids you know and we've got a couple weeks of summer left here maybe let the kids mix it up this weekend and make some sundaes a special sunday dessert this recipe works for two reasons um, you don't have to cook it because the sweetened condensed milk is already cooked and the sugar is dissolved in it and you don't have to have an ice cream maker because you've whipped the cream and it's going to maintain its volume and its creaminess and you're not going to have to worry about um, suspending the sugar in it because the sugar is already dissolved in that sweetened condensed milk. Okay, that's mixed up pretty even now. And like I said, that's it. That's all there is to mixing it up. And then you want to transfer it to a plastic bowl or some kind of metal container. We'll also work like a loaf pan or something. And cover it and put it in your freezer. Uh, four hours to overnight kind of depends on your freezer and it whoops, scoops out I've had this out of the freezer for just a little while but it makes really nice ice cream it would be perfect for Sundays like I said banana splits add a little syrup on the top add some strawberries or peaches or something in it I'm thinking lemon though I don't know why I want some lemon something for dessert but you could literally make it any flavor or just vanilla and it does taste really really good and of course it's going to depend on the kind of vanilla you use so use real vanilla extract and you could even add vanilla beans into it keep this one give it a try it's good for when you need ice cream and you don't want to go out shopping and get it it's also good if you know you're living alone and you want just a little ice cream you know this is only two cups so it's not gonna take up a lot of room and you know you can enjoy it or if you got a whole lot of people you got to have ice cream for a Sunday dessert or something or a kids party this is a good recipe for that and it's super super easy the kids will love making it they'll love eating it they'll love dressing it out for Sundays and stuff and other desserts it's a keeper for sure and the flavor possibilities are just endless with this before we go I want to leave you with 2nd Timothy 1 7 for God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind folks there is power in salvation and there is power in our Savior don't let the circumstances that are going on in the world make you so afraid that you lose the power of your salvation we have to live in the world we have to deal with the physical circumstances that are going on but we do not have to give the world our minds our hearts or our souls so love each other 
that's the power that God gave us. Protect your mind and your soul from what's going on. This is the time to let your light shine and to show the world just how great and just how powerful our Savior is. I want to thank you so much for joining us again in the Hillbilly Kitchen. If you haven't already, please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. Share a video with your friends and share some ice cream with your friends. Until next time, remember to put God first. <music>